So today I'm gonna to be planting quinoa, so come on along. Hey everybody, welcome back to the farm. This is Lisa and the wind has picked up now that I'm filming my intro, but <laughs> that's the way it goes. So sorry for the wind noise. But today we are going to be planting some quinoa as a part of the quinoa challenge with Elizabeth Husky Ritchie. And I know that Casey over at Ormsby Farms is also participating in this. I will put all the information in the description box down below so you can check it out and follow along. I will be growing mine in the greenhouse. Why? Because I realized that probably should have started mine a while ago because it takes 100 to 120 days to mature. And as you all know, we have about 67 days of growing season. So greenhouse it is that way we can grow till october hopefully in the greenhouse if i need to heat it i will if not i'm hoping that it'll stay warm and i'll show you what i'm doing and it says seven to ten days germination and you sow the seeds a quarter of an inch deep in full sun just after last frost we're still waiting for our last frost and plant them six to twelve inches apart so i'm gonna put four in this container if it gets too crowded i will definitely take them out and plant in different containers where this seed packet is sealed there we go so i'm going to put two seeds in each hole Maybe three, and we could thin them out later. But that way, we don't waste any time. Now, I'd love to plant a row of this, but there's no way I'm going to be able to because of our short season. But I think next year, now that I have the seeds, I will try that. So I'm just gonna lightly cover these. This is what the greenhouse looks like now. I can't get in here, it's ridiculous. Um, I had the stackable planters stacked, but it wasn't working for me because they're not getting enough sun on this side. I couldn't get to them to water them. And I'm over them, just gonna be honest. They're not working for this purpose, but they are working as small, <laughs> cheap pots to grow stuff in. So. I am have an idea, so let me work on that now and I'll bring you back and show you the after. So there's the quinoa and I covered it with saran wrap so that way it stays moist and hopefully we get a good germination and a quick germination. And let me show you what I did inside the greenhouse before I put it in there. I added a couple cinder blocks to raise up two pots, so hopefully that'll give me more space. And I added this bed frame. When these two bed frames are together, it is actually a queen size bed and then it holds a mattress. And we were gonna toss them because we replaced that bed. And I decided to use it in here. Now some of these, like the top shelf, they're just seedlings. They're gonna go outside this weekend, so I'll have more room that way but for now it's looking good and I'm gonna put the quinoa right there so let's do that my plan is the 120 days or 100 to 120 days that the quinoa takes to mature by that time all of this will be gone and what I can do is as I'm weeding this other stuff out I plan to leave the quinoa in the greenhouse because last year we were able to grow in the greenhouse until uh, October and it actually snowed and we had Swiss chard. Now I know Swiss chard is a different plant, but we're gonna give it a shot. Worst comes to worst, it's in a container. I can cover it, I can bring it inside, all the things that I need to do to protect it from the cold. So this will be a real fun experiment. So you'll have to follow along with this. We'll do a few videos to give you some updates and let you know how it's going. 
In our greenhouse right now, we have strawberries, tomatoes, peppers, more tomatoes, two cherry tomatoes, uh, two more pepper plants back there. You can see the white pot. You can see that brown pot back there. The blue stackable on the cinder block is green onions. We've got some Georgia collards in those two terracotta pots. I've got some lettuce in that blue pot, some spinach, more spinach, more spinach, and some radishes. And the cucumber seeds that I planted did not come up. However, what I did was I did start some seedlings. So they these here are cucumber plants. And then these are lufa, red pole beans that I got from Kristen at Lazy Sea Homestead and some flowers, some marigolds that I planted earlier. And then I also planted more, some cauliflower. So those are gonna go outside as well as these and these. So we'll see how things go this year. But so far the greenhouse has really up the game because those tomatoes in the back were started in the house on March 9th and they're already flowering. Everything else is flowering in the tomatoes, so it's really exciting. Good stuff. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. We've got our quinoa planted, and we're just going to wait for it to germinate, and I'll take you guys along. We'll probably do a few videos, and I know Elizabeth uh, Husky Richie has um, a playlist on it, so I will include that information down below as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.